What's up guys, this is Tom Burkhart from Car of Saley. Going out for a drive review in one of the best cars I've ever driven. Absolutely amazing, not just this year, but ever. This is the 2020 Genesis G70 3.3T rear wheel drive. So we're in the G70 Sport and it is sublime. It is such a great car. I'm really excited to tell you guys all about it and, uh, and go through the, the handling course here and basically just fall even harder for this car than I did uh, in the first 20 minutes. Because it's that good, it's absolutely amazing. So, let's talk about... Um, <laughs> let's talk about what G70 competes with, how it um, is different than the 3 Series and the C-Class, and then um, talk about how it's different than its, uh, its platform mate, the Kia Stinger. Okay, so, so it competes obviously in the premium midsize class of uh, vehicles that also includes the Tesla Model 3 and, uh, and cars like the Q50, um, Jag XE, um, Acura TLX, and uh, I don't know, and a couple, oh, an Audi A4 and a few other, a few other players as well. So this is a segment that is um, in like sort of like uh, long-term decline. Like it's really been uh, hurting in the last couple of years versus um, versus the you know obviously premium SUVs because as as luxury shoppers move from sedans to SUVs, it really is starting with the younger buyers first. So which kind of makes sense. So these uh, smaller um, you know executive sedans. just having an extra hard time but this g70 comes into the marketplace is already like you know in the top in the top selling vehicles it's selling about a third of what the c-class does but that's amazing and astoundingly good for a new entrant um, and the first ever uh, vehicle in this price and size class that the Genesis has ever made so g70 starts with a base price of about 35 grand and that is with the 2 liter turbo 4 making 252 horsepower and a 0 to 60 sprint of about 6.3 seconds and that's available in all-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive and then we have the 3.3 t that we're in right now which has 365 horsepower and 376 foot-pounds of torque and sprint times in uh, in the low fours so uh, this this is a, an, an awesome achievement for Genesis because it's right out of the box. It's so competitive that it even like it beats the, the class leaders. I mean, it's it's clearly objectively better than uh, the outgoing BMW 340i M Sport, which is was uh, for a long time and and you know perhaps still is one of the best vehicles ever made. So that's incredible. Um, you know, the, the new 3 Series is coming on Steam right now. And uh, and will it be better? You know, I, it'll be very interesting to find out. But one thing we can be sure of is that this G70 will be cheaper by about 10 grand. Like for like uh, um, equipment levels, this one with uh, every option, including the sport package, that is like an additional 5,500 or something over the $45,000 base price is about 51,000 out the door, including delivery. So, you know, for any of the 340s, um, you're looking at at least, uh, at least about 58 as a base price and then some serious add-ons um, for features that come standard on Genesis, like, you know, cooled seats, um, parking system, active safety stuff. And then some stuff that you can't get on any of the, any of the other models in the class, like um, full Brembo brakes standard on all the um, turbo V6s. Um, yeah, I think standard moonroof all around, standard LED uh, lighting, and uh, and basically just a really well equipped vehicle that gets better and better with like the elite and then prestige trim levels it just is like this is an awesome value and an awesome steer so i'm here to tell you that if you're buying a mid-sized car in the next couple years you've got to drive this g70 it is so awesome it's so great the steering is super super pure handling is outstanding and uh, and of course like we said the value is there uh, in spades, this car is a lot cheaper than its premium rivals, and it also has like you know an amazing like five years, sixty thousand mile bumper to bumper warranty, and um, and performance that is uh, you know right at the top of the class. So these are all really good things. I'm gonna go around the sky. <sighs> it's just really a special vehicle. So that's how that's some of the comparisons versus um, versus the other. Uh, you know the class leaders 
So let's talk about how it compares versus um, Kia Stinger. So these cars were designed on the same platform that was designed from the get-go to be ultra sporty. So they have a super low center of gravity. The engine is mounted really low and really far back. But the vehicles are more different than you might think. Um, the big advantages that G70 brings versus the Stinger are uh, refinement, agility, and um, and rigidity. So I had to write my notes on a post-it for this one. Been a little busy lately. Uh, I just didn't want to forget some stuff. Okay, so yeah, uh, rigidity, agility, and refinement. So let's talk about the first one. Um, the Stinger is a hatch. So it's a uh, and it has and it's a bigger vehicle. It's about you know six to seven inches longer overall. It has a three inch longer wheelbase and it's about 200 pounds heavier. So being, you know, 200 pounds lighter for the G70 is a big asset in the sportiness um, with the same power levels from each available powertrain. Um, and then the rigidity comes in with that hatchback because all hatchbacks are, uh, you know, inherently a lot less rigid than sedans because there's just so much more open area that they have to brace around um, and that creates a lot of uh, challenges in, tr in terms of minimizing chassis flex. the sedan is just super tight um, and it's also more refined because there's less of an open area between the back seats uh, and the trunk there's actually no open area um, there's none of that echoiness or booming sounds that can come from um, sporty wagons and sporty hatchbacks you know it's just sort of like a drone that's coming through the back wheel wells um, that's uh, that's very very hard to minimize and as a result the G70 is just much quieter and much much more refined not to say that Stinger is not refined, but this one is just in another league. So it's quicker too. It's about, you know, 0.4 um, seconds quicker to 60 miles an hour for all the engines and drive configurations. And it's slalom uh, performance and road holding are, you know, a little bit better as well. So in addition to being like more luxurious, um, the G70 is more refined. So those are like pretty awesome things considering that they have um, pretty similar pricing. G70 is priced like, a, a, you know, maybe uh, about two to $3,000 higher than, uh, than what the Stinger is. Same eight-speed automatic. That's awesome. Um, same rack-mounted motor-driven power steering that is the best, the best Hyundai and Kia have ever done, and I think the best uh, in the midsize segment in general. We are hauling in this. I mean, this car is doing amazing time um, through the road course here. I'm so proud of Hyundai and Genesis um, for their, this achievement. Each of their cars keep getting better and better and better and better. And this G70 is the best one yet, hands down. It's awesome. The Brembo brakes are really coming in handy here. Hard, hard on the brakes. Eager kick down out of, out of corners or it has you in the right gear out of corners. It's just sublime. It's so freaking perfect that it feels effortless. It's effortless to drive this car um, enthusiastically. And as a result, it's like a beyond effortless to cruise in it. Driving position is amazing. Seating position is amazing. Um, the, you know, everything falls right to hand. Visibility is pretty good. It's just overall a terrific vehicle. The, so good. I'm so, so impressed and I know that um, shoppers will be too. So what is some other stuff um, that uh, Genesis has really uh, improved versus, um, let's say, the uh, Singer? Well, well, let's uh, actually, let's just talk about it versus the G80 Sport. So the G80 Sport is one of my favorite cars ever, but the rear-wheel drive version has some issues because it has a hard time putting its power down when it's driven uh, enthusiastically. So... Um, that, what that means is that essentially if you're um, uh, coming into sharp corners and then hard on the gas, it's going to spin away power in, in that inside wheel. And um, that's just frustrating and it's not the fastest way around a track. So you could definitely tell the Genesis has been putting in their time on the Nürburgring and in the Namyang um, R&D Center in Korea, which is like a huge, you know, huge track and durability testing center. And it really shows because uh, what they've put on these... Uh, on the G70 is a standard limited slip differential. So that, that limited slip diff basically means that it has awesome traction and when it does break loose, it's totally controlled and a very easy thing to, very easy thing to catch and modulate. So 
I'm so impressed. But you know, the G80 Sport, it was such an issue on that car um, with the same motor that I honestly have been recommending the all wheel drive to people for a couple years. So it's nice not to have, nice, nice to be able to recommend the rear wheel drive again. You know, more efficient, lighter, purer steering feel. I mean, it's it's awesome. If you don't, if you're not in a snowy climate, you know, why bother with all the extra weight and, um, and uh, you know, driving impurity that all wheel drive brings. So it's really cool that they've uh, that they've got this limited slip diff. It works amazing. I mean, this is all like top of the line stuff. Um, the most impressive thing is the low center of gravity and how clairvoyant the steering feels, and just a really pure reaction, pure response time, just purity throughout. It's so freaking good. It's like I don't even know how to say it, but it's that good. I mean, you've seen the awards that this car has won, and you know I definitely come into those like the Motor Trend Car of the Year award um, with a little bit of uh, you know a convince me type of jaded attitude, um, and I don't think they, I don't know, I don't think their reviews really conveyed how awesome the car is because it's so so great. Like you might not even be considering Genesis, you might be, uh, you might just be thinking of like a midsize car like a Mazda Six, for example. And, but this is a vehicle that by giving it all those awards, what they're saying is like, you've got to drive this car before you sign on the dotted line for another vehicle because it's that good. And it really, really is. This G70 is amazing. They did an incredible job and owners um, are just, have got to be head over heels. Anybody would be after driving it even very briefly. It's that fun. It's really, really good. Okay, but so are there some downsides versus the Kia Stinger um, being that much shorter and lighter? There are. So the Stinger with that big hatch, like about you know three and a half inch longer wheelbase, and um, and about a six inch shorter overall length, has a lot more space in the back seat, and especially a lot more space in the trunk. So um, versus the the Stinger with that hatch is actually super practical. It has 23 cubic feet of cargo space in the back, whereas this G70 has only 10.5, which is pretty tight. It does have fold down seats, however, you know, that's still pretty tight, um, even for a segment where it's, you know, where, where the C Class and the 3 Series are doing like 14, 15 maybe, um, as their uh, trunk volume. So to be down, like it's almost like cut in half in terms of trunk volume. That's you know something to consider. And then the back seat is also a lot smaller too. It's got like two or three inches less legroom. And um, you've got to think if those if the benefits of all the, of this agility and the lightness are worth it. To me, they absolutely are uh, because I look at these four doors as you know an occasional use rear seat. I'm not I'm not trying to do big road trips with uh, with long legged people in the way in the back. It's basically like a coupe that I can put a backpack or you know or a suitcase in the back seat really easily without folding seats down and, and doing all that stuff. So uh, for me, it definitely is worth it. But if you, um, I've got practicality on the mind. The Stinger does have some benefits. But um, that being said, I think the brand appeal of Genesis is a lot more solid these days than the uh, than the brand appeal of Kia. So you know, even though Genesis is a new brand and it has some convincing to do um, in terms of just getting people to consider it who might be considering uh, you want any of the premium brands uh, rivals so it, it has challenges but um, it at least it has you know a dedicated experience and um, you know and uh, basically just a, a dedicated luxury focus for everything whereas Kia really does not you know it's that their their showrooms are gonna be you know less uh, white glove experience than you can get from Genesis so there's there is a there's always a always an upside and a downside to all this stuff, right? So one of the downsides is that uh, the Genesis dealer network is not that built out yet. So for in Charleston, South Carolina, for example, there is not a, like a dedicated Genesis dealer. Um, they sell them at some Hyundai dealers, not all of them, uh, but I think that, but they can work on them at all of them, and uh, and there are standalone Genesis you know, premium showrooms being installed uh, at a pretty rapid clip. So that's something to consider if you, uh, it's just like, you know, 
what you want your surfacing experience to be like. You know, if you're okay with a more mainstream uh, lineup, then, then that's fine. Because it probably does mean a uh, cheaper servicing, even if it might not mean like a, a super premium loaner car, it probably does mean cheaper servicing than, uh, than getting your BMW worked on, for example. When they might give you a new X5, but I mean, that oil change is gonna be like $400. So, you know, it's sort of like, you gotta weigh that stuff. Um, but uh, on its merits alone, the G70 is awesome. So there are some places where the Sport is really particularly good versus the other ones. Um, with this upgrade, which includes like everything that's in the Elite and, uh, and Prestige, you have, you know, vented seats, um, that's standard on those previous ones and then the sport brings a uh, sport alloy 19 inch wheels with uh with a painted five spoke design that actually chips pretty easily um so be careful with that it also has electronically adjustable dampers and it has uh napa leather for the interior with quilted finishes as you can see oh shoot i forgot one thing so the back seat is tight but they've put in a really smart feature check this out you can move the, the front seat up and back right here. So it's like, so you can really um, not have to do a lot of explaining if you're letting people in the back seat. And also if it's just two of you, um, give that person a lot more leg room, which is just like super thoughtful. I just, I love that. That's a really great idea. It should be adopted um, by a lot of other manufacturers. That's how good uh, this Genesis is. Okay, so it's got uh, uh, electronic dampers, that, uh, that are different in sport mode, a little bit firmer, which gives you a little bit more control. It also has uh, quilted dapple leather. The uh, Those special wheels, they all have Brembo brakes for the V6. Uh, what are other, what else is, uh, oh, there's, like, there's one other thing I'm forgetting. Oh. It's on the tip of my toe, hold on a sec. The tip of my tongue. Oh God, so, okay, so of course. So it's got some exterior tweaks. So essentially all the bright work, all the bright work is um, black chrome. So it looks really cool. I mean, they call it dark chrome, but it's black chrome. It's super dark and menacing, but it also has a little bit of a shiny finish. So it's definitely a, a very, very cool look for the front grille. It also has smoked rear, rear tail lights that are a little bit darker. And then, um, dark window surrounds that are in that same black chrome effect uh, and like and some bronze bezels for the uh, the dynamically moving um, LED low and high beams with auto high beams this car's got everything it really does it's got everything including my heart I absolutely love the G70 I love it so much that I really want to drive all its variants I want to drive the all-wheel drive with the V6 twin turbo and I want to drive the base four cylinders because I might buy one uh, that's how much I like it. I really, really like it. Um, and I know you guys will too. So I'm trying to be as uh, as enthusiastic as possible to really convey what an awesome car this is. But if you leave here with uh, with one bit of information, just know that it's uh, that uh, refinement, agility, and um, rigidity are a lot better than Kia Stinger. And up there with the Class Best. And, uh, and the knowledge that you absolutely have to drive this car. You have to, you've got to do it. You have to. So uh, keep me posted. I'm sure a bunch of you will go end up buying one. You know, uh, it's that freaking good. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. This is Tom Burkhart from Car Rev Saley. Look for the full review over on carrevsaley.com in the next couple weeks. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya.